Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So, I have been busy making blocks of aluminium. It takes forever in the metal format, but there's another way which is maybe a bit quicker. So let's go and have a look at that first. So what I've got here is some more aluminium ingots. Oh, sorry, I'll press F5 and go put it in here. Let's craft these up to blocks. I think I don't need many more blocks, but we'll just see. Got another eight blocks in here. That wasn't really clever. Let's do that. There. In fact, actually, my A2 system is full. So I've got now. I've got to hit ten blocks plus whatever we got in here. Let's shift those into there. Take those out because we need the foundry type. We can't use the other. So that should be more than enough now to do two blocks. Let's get this selected. So that's we've got six. I did six earlier on. So this will do the next two. So I've got four left over, that's good. So we've now got our two. We've got eleven circuits, two of those and one of those, and I think that makes the compressor. Let's just turn that off and see. One compressor, how about that? And it's not too much power, so it'll only take a few seconds. Let's turn that off there and get our compressor out. And let's have a look at that quest. Uh, we are on this one, aren't we? Roll, roll, what have we got to it? Incremental 64 iron machine holes. Oh, yes, that's right. I, the reason I was doing that, 64 is such a lot is because we need to, to compress all this iron up, don't we? So, in here, I just wonder if you can actually eject that into here like this. Let's put it down here. It's got nothing in it at the moment, but we can put it, we've got 54 iron. Um, let's put these into here, see what happens. Wow, nice noise, haven't heard that one for a while. So we've got some dense iron plates now, that's pretty good and I think that's what we need for the iron machine hole. 32 of these dense iron plates and 32 silicon plates. Right, good. So let's get on with that bit. Silicon plates were just made in the um, synthesizer with silicon weren't they? So let's just turn off this. I can't clear it because we're already full. What can I get rid of from in here that we don't need? We don't need a boat, but we don't need that one. Let's put those into here like that. Let's put some stuff in here. Maybe the processes and stuff like that they don't need. Sadly, those we can put elsewhere. What else have we got in here that's filling up the system for very little space? It's really item. It's really types you always run out of. Like we've got warm melon seed and one poppy and one porcelain clay that's not very useful is it really so let's just put the ones of these way down here I should go and plant that really I'll do something with it useful but um, useful with it I mean so in here what I did to speed things up a bit as I I brought this cable across here and then basically set up decomposing this so let's just turn this off now that's basically molten aluminium, so that's coming down here, and then that's going, coming across in here and getting then converted to aluminium ingots from ex nihilio. And as you can see, those are coming through and quite nice. If I shift click that off there, we can get a load of those, and they're ending up in here. And what I think I need to do if we need lots of these aluminium holes is to do this process and then stick that through an auto compressor from it. X compression, I think, will probably be the best way to do that. Anyway, I've got a block. I have got with me a block of something I don't really need. Well, <laughs> such a long time since I heard this thing do its business. So, actually, what I need in here is an ejector. Let's make that as well an ejecting upgrade. Um, let's 
So in uppercase, I think it's this one. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. We've got a circuit over somewhere or other. I think the circuit's in the other place. Let's just move this boat into it like that. In fact, as it happens, I've got a junk chest, which will a not very useful items chest over here. Well, I'll say that. That's got some good stuff in there. Um, what just have just had a let's put this back over here. We've got a frame, let's just put the frame on the wall. I'll need that some stage. Um ba ba ba. Lots of aluminium. Don't need that. Okay, that's now finished, so everything's been decomposed, which is fantastic. So right, we've got rid of all that aluminium. Right, I'll get rid of this so you guys don't want that with me. That's full. Just get rid of that in there, that's good. Um, I forgot what I was doing. I'll take the aluminium while, I, while I'm thinking about it and that, that. We should be able to put those into the system, even if the system is full. Which it just about is. Oh, yes, I need to go and get those in time. Let's go and get the bits we need for this. Quartz glass. Looks like the minimum. Okay, so I think the other bits were in here that we needed some cables and some circuits. What else do we need for that? Is the extraction upgrade this one? Oh, we'll hop and two pistons. Do we just need a hopper and two pistons? Well, that's not so bad. Let's get the wood out of here. Oh, let's have a look for some iron. Ooh, good look on. Okay. I've actually done it the wrong way around, but it doesn't matter much. So we need a couple of hoppers. We'll make four. I mean pistons. We need some wood. So we're going to need four. That will make four pistons. So we'll need uh, 12 wood. Oh, we need some redstone. We'll need four of those. I think that's gone up a bit now. Yes, it's going up because I'm processing moon dirt. Uh, probably, I probably do need to set up a process for manufacturing redstone because it's going to be a bit of a pain. And then we want some cobblestone, don't we? But I've already restarted this. I bet it's not working. Oh, what I didn't, haven't done yet, which I really should have been doing. So we need, I'll just take a stack of this and turn off the one from there. So I don't want it getting processed at the moment automatically and fed into the gravel machine. So let's do, turn that off as well. So here, for example, on this one, I can turn off the cobblestone. So we need 16 of these. Like that. And then we should put to make four pistons. Also very fast. So we've got our pistons, we've got our... So we should be... Um, our hopper, so we should be able to make the ejector upgrade now. Oh, that's weird. You know, I thought that would have been automatic and pick it up. It does sometimes. Oh, of course, probably because it's full. Still full because it's got one. Can't take get rid of the um, the hopper. Right. Anyway, which well, is not so good, in fact. So with this one here, if I put if I install this injector upgrade into here, you'll see those disappeared, and they came straight into here. So that means this process can sort of be reasonably automated. This is a bit slow, we should put them speed upgrades in there, but there is overclocker upgrades. They're, they're not a problem actually, let's just 
take them out of here. Put some into here like that. And then that's going to go through much faster. Oh, let that go. So what else have we got to do? So we've done the compressor, which was a key bit of the thing. So we're making, we're in the process of making these iron holes, iron machine holes. Oh yeah, silly, because that's the other thing I need to make. So this has all cleared itself out nicely now. So we want some silicon. Uh, I think maybe we've got some silicon in here. Let's have a look. No silicon in there. I can see. It doesn't matter very much. Um, but we've got plenty of silicon dioxide here. Let's take up three stacks of those and decompose those. And those are going to go straight out into the. Come into here nicely. So what we can do with this, take that out of there. Don't ask me why that ends up in there, it's a strange place. Shouldn't really do it at the best, should it? So, so now we want to make some plates, don't we? Uh, some silicon plates. Let me have a look. Iron machine hole. This one, so we need two in the top left. Like that, and therefore these are going to come out of here. We can remove the oxygen and we can remove the carbon. We don't need those in there now. And we can put those away. And this should process itself nicely. So what are we doing down here? Oh, we've got twenty. Good. This will work. This will work nicely with the, the higher speed, or the higher rate device. Whether I should use a, another chem one of these with a, a stack upgrade in it, I don't know. Because I've got in here a stack upgrade, so it will go reasonably fast. So we should have plenty of oxygen in here now. Silicon we've got coming out. Oxygen. Get rid of the iron. Metal, metal, chloride, nickel. Meth. Basically, these are the things I was making before, wasn't it? Metal, that's up. Okay, and we'll put those, what well, we can anyway, we'll put those into here. None. Huh. Okay, let's try it. Now, oh, nickel want. Let's take away as much of the iron as we can and put the iron into this chest here. And then we can put this back again in here. Yes, that's good. And then we can get rid of the oxygen. And so how much are we doing? We've got plates down here now. Actually, that's gone down quite nicely. Hydrogen and aluminium phosphate. I'll leave the, this one into here. So we've got one and a half stacks. And we need to make 64 of these. Whoa. I don't think I'm going to do that in this episode. It's too time consuming. But having said that, we need a way of dealing with this, don't we? So let's go and make some more. This is never going to, it's going to take such a long time to do these. Let me just check the recipe for these. Oh, they're right. They just go in the um, assembly table just to make 64. Wow. So we have only got 24 dent iron plates so far. This is going to take a horrendously large amount of time. Okay. I'll put those into here for the time being. And wait for those dense sound plates and maybe it will get one so what that basically means is it's too slow this process this could carry on working on the block cutting machine i think that's probably the best way to do this anyway and they're certainly getting ejected fast enough Hmm. 
So what we can do is move these machines downstairs, hopefully. Or maybe I won't because they're industrial craft too, so they, they can break. But I could easily feed it in here. So what do I want to feed into it? Blocks of iron. Now it might be possible to chem mine chem a block of iron. Let's go and have a look. That's a rubbish. That's a rubbish uh, query. Let's just take a. I just want to get rid of these if I can. I can, good. So look at these ones. Let's take one of those out of here. And let's see if we can actually have a look at the recipe for this. If we can actually mine chem one through. Metal caster we know about. Oh, right, we can. So 16 iron in every single one will produce a block of iron. Okay, that's good. So we can then produce a chemical synthesizer and a decomposer. So we can, I've got one downstairs, of course, doing iron that was being used for the um, manufacture of refined iron. So I think I'll make another couple of these. So we need 16 pistons before we even start. So redstone. I'm going to do it the normal way. I'm going to take a stack of redstone. I'm going to take a stack of iron ingots. I'm going to take three stacks of wood, which I haven't got, so let's just do it like this. One, two, three. Well, that will go back in again. Interesting. So we've got those. In fact, we'll remove these, then we can put the wood back in there. Like that, and then we can put the spikes over here, they're fine. So then we need four stacks of cobblestone. Let's go down and get that. This is less tedious than doing it the other way, isn't it? And that's all we need. Let's put all of these things in here. I can actually automate this, I think. You can actually feed, put pipes onto it and feed them into here. It seems to be such a lot of ad hoc type recipes I'm doing for this. It may or may not be worth it. Yeah, I'm still full. Let's take these out of here and this one. Any one, any one items are going to fill up the AC system. And at the moment, it's going to be a little bit expensive and certainly very time consuming to get that to being up upgraded so let's have a look for example if I want another say 1k oh sorry wrong sort this that's fluid storage or item storage you see we need actually the rats not too bad 64 calculated process one logic 16 logic processors. There's quite a lot of materials in here to produce 1k ME storage. And these I've got to make from Fluix dust, which the only way I can do that is by grinding um, Fluix crystals or by mine chemming. I think we can mine chem those. We can. With aluminium hypophosphate, that's no big deal. And aluminium phosphate and gallium arsenide. So that's basically from. We can get that from Mars or most of it, except for this one, which we need to do ourselves. So, right, anyway, let's go back now for the chemical synthesizer. So, we need a decomposer, and we need this one first. Okay, I've got some pistons. Have I got pistons in there already? Interesting, I didn't think I had got so many pistons. So, chemical decomposer and that one. So let's make the decomposer first. The weird. And then we make the next one, we'll make the chemical synthesizer. 
I put that in the system? No, I can't. When it's full, I can't do this stuff. Oh, it worked that time. Strange. So we've got some of this, and we need an ME export. Fluid export. Now these might be more... We can maybe can we can make more of these anyway. So what we're going to do? I don't know whether it'll actually push the items across the top. Let's try it anyway. So basically here we'd put the chemical synthesizer, and then we can it comes in from the top and it comes out. We can put it out the bottom. So maybe I can put the decomposer on the side here, on top of it like that. And then of course we can take the cables up the wall here, that's no big deal. And they should all get powered. So if I now come along here with some cables and put onto this the export bus. Like that. I don't know I've got enough cables to be honest with you. Five. Oh. one short but we have actually got some more fluid cables i'm sure so let's get those fluid cables out of here um 35 fantastic oh, we've got a load more seeds let's take these out of here put those seeds into here let them grow so we just need some red dye. So I've got 30. Don't lose me three. That's fine. I reckon that's fine. So what I'm hoping for is I can join these two together like that. Put into here. I don't want the iron in there. Put the iron down. Put the iron over here. Look. And then we want to oh, miss, take the bucket to molten iron and then try getting this into there like that. Can't reach. Yes, that might work. So that's decomposing iron. But those iron are not coming into here. Okay, so that shouldn't be such a problem. Let's just take of those out of there and then put into here 16 of each in the, in each corner isn't it well in every slot actually let's just remove one that's good I want the eight, don't I? Good. Of course, this has got. Oh, this has got a place to go. It's got. It can go downstairs. So, but I'm not sure it'll automatically pull it in. If it doesn't pull it in, I have a little problem. But I can bring the cables at the back, and we can move things around a little bit. So, what I was going to do here. Be night time again by the looks of it. Let's so take another node if we've got one. I did find out about the walrus, it's purely decoration. I don't know if we can put it down in your house, put it down somewhere. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh -huh. It's a bit big to be there. Have to break him with a pickaxe? Oh my goodness. I hope I can actually break him. Let's try this. Oops. Probably in the way there. Well, if I can't break him, I don't mind really, to be honest with you, because it's pretty useless reward anyway. <laughs> I'll get him back again, good. Tell you what we'll do with the water, we'll stick him outside, shall we? He can guard that, he can guard this lot. Oh, yes. It's quite a decent walrus, actually. Here we are. Slight aside, I do apologise. So, right. I 
I need a node, transfer node, good. What have we got? Stack upgrade, that'd probably be good. And some some of these, let's try that for a size. Um And that should be able to just go down. Of course, I've got this chest in the way now. I can break this chest because I don't need both parts of it now. So let's take the first half of it off. I removed the. I already moved the cable from there anyway. So let's put this now here. And bring this down like that. And that should then start to come into here. Well, it's not going in there, is it? So the chemical synthesizer should allow bits to come in from any direction. Uh huh. And I think the problem here is that we've got uh, no way for it to go out. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to take this out of here like this with these blocks. Bring the cable up behind, the power cable up from behind like this. So we bring this up like this. We can then, now that won't work will it? certainly removes that and in that case there should be some more iron coming in but it's not coming in here maybe do I have to fix this so it doesn't go that way no it won't connect to that anyway so what we've got to do is move this about a bit so let's take the thing out of here Ah, oh, it's going to fill it with stuff, isn't it? Let's just break that and break that. So then we can take the iron out of here. Hmm. I want to get rid of it because I don't want to lose it. So let's just come up here and remove this. I can't get it. Now you jump on down on that. That's good. So we should be able to remove the iron from iron from in here anyway. It'll finish decomposing what it's got without losing the iron we've got. I think it's probably a good thing. Space to put it. Not really very much, but that'll do as, as good as any. In fact, when I'm thinking about it, now I've got the bottle, I'll leave this with me for the time being. Oh, I've got some more seeds. Let's go and put those away. Because that's taking up space in my inventory, which I don't need it to do. See all these growing up already. Of course, they have. It takes a few seconds with those uh, bits and pieces around it. I think that's finished. I'm just hoping I've got enough space to get everything out. Probably happened actually. No, I haven't. So, what are we going to do the next stuff? Just going to put it in there for the time being. And then get the rest of it out. And then we can break the, bo the box here. So, then we can remove this one. I'm just trying to figure out how to get this connecting up. That shouldn't be too much of a problem, I don't think. Let's just remove this and this. So if I then bring the chemical synth decomposer in here, I should be able to get it coming out the sides here like this, which is no big deal. But I need this at one more place, so let's move this up. I've got to break it, of course. I think that's all I need to do with that one, actually. Yeah, they're just marker so to speak so let's break this so we should then be able to feed the 
thing into here so I want it really here so let's put this chemical synthesizer here like that so then we can put a node transfer node on this underneath it like this and that should then go into here I hope I don't know whether it's actually it, it has to be fed from a side or not to be honest with you so let's put these into here now try and make this recipe up again probably would be a good idea to make myself another book chemist journal and put this recipe into the chemist journal which is what I'm going to have to do eventually anyway so let's have a look those should come out anyway so what do we need have we actually got enough yes we've got enough they should come into here oh, I've got one block of oh, that's it yeah exactly oh, and that time it worked oh fantastic so that is going to work from there that's good so now the next thing is we just have to get this into here so if I bring chemical decomposer I'm sure it's got to go in at the top but we've got space to put it in the top haven't we so let's put the decomposer here like that and then it should be able to come out of the side of the decomposer but I need another transfer node and we should be able to feed this in from the top the sides won't work definitely not but the top will work fine like that and we can put onto this the fluid export node here like that like that we can put iron into this one so that will now get, be getting iron so all we now need to do is to connect that machine to this power supply which I think is there yes so what well, probably just two cables is it one two yep and that should be decomposing great so now I think we can go in the top I mean from the side to the top I don't have any more stack upgrades but I don't think I need stack upgrades for below I think we just need the stack upgrade for the top here like that yeah I think that's right let's put this onto there I have to shift it don't I okay and it's coming in nicely let's just put a stack grade upgrade on this one and then this will come in faster which it is doing it's coming in here oh, it's only got one block to go no big deal so it's that's working just fine So I'm just tidy this up now, put these blocks back. So that is basically, I can't do that one of course. So this we're basically getting dense iron plate automation. We can leave that running, I can put speed upgrades in here, make those. That's flashing this time, didn't do it before. So. I'm going to say goodbye for now. See you next time. Where we're going to carry on with this automation as much as I can. Uh, or at least try to. So until then, bye for now.